installment of Southside Garden Supplies Watch and Know Before You Grow. My name is Esham. Um, today we're going to be talking about HID bulbs. Um, HID meaning high intensity discharge. A fancy way of saying it's bright. It uses a combination of either positive or negative pressure gas to ignite and burn at a certain color temperature or frequency. Um, we're going to be talking about obviously Kelvin counts, um, transitional bulbs, um, different types of bulbs, double ended versus single ended um, versus ceramic metal halide. Alright guys, so the first topic we're going to talk about today is Kelvin. Um, Kelvins are a unit of measurement to describe temperature. Um, also, in this instance, would be color. Um, so the Kelvin count of these individual bulbs dictate the actual physical color that the bulb is. Um, so bulbs you would normally find in veg, you would see between a 46K and a 68,000 degrees Kelvin bulb. Um, Flower, you look, which is obviously a bluer color. In flower, you're looking more towards the opposite. And you've got a 2,000 really to about 36 to 38K. You can run up to a 42K, um, but you won't find commonly bulbs that run past 42,000 degrees Kelvin or 4,200 degrees Kelvin that are used for flower. Um, there just aren't quite the peaks in red that there would be to trigger that flowering response in most plants. One important thing you guys should know whenever you're touching bulbs, you don't want to leave any residual oils on it. Um, so you never want to touch it with your bare hands. And if you do have to, you want to be sure to thoroughly wipe it off because what can happen is the oils on your fingers actually on the bulb will superheat separate areas of the bulb and cause it to fracture, which in a metal halide bulb, which is a positive pressure in it, would cause an explosion. Um, high pressure sodiums typically implode because they're a negative pressure bulb, um, but it's still not anything you want to deal with. So we're going to talk about a couple, couple different types of bulbs here. Um, first off, one being your standard metal halide bulb. Obviously, you know, your predominant veg bulb. Um, this one in particular, most of them are written on here with the color temperatures. This one is a 6K, which is going to be your predominant veg color. High, or metal halides have an increase in the ultraviolets over high pressure sodium because they contain a different blend of gases. They're also a positively pressurized bulb. Um, hence the reason why most metal halides are a little bit more bulbous in shape around the top is to compensate for that positive pressure. Whereas high pressure sodiums are actually a higher negative pressure, um, so they don't need as much or any compensation really. Um, standard metal halide, the option, and then like this would be the other end of the spectrum, which is the high pressure sodium. This particular one is, I believe, a 2700K, um, which is definitely more towards a warmer reddish orange color. Um, these are actually a pretty good brand of bulb. They, you know, Double ones do have a little bit longer life on them. These ones I've been able to run for a good solid year without any sort of negative effects. And for being a kind of more budget bulb, they seem to do fantastic. Um, the difference in these, though, is that this particular bulb has something different and missing about it that the other one does not. This is kind of your standard double ended. This bulb right here, actually, being a metal halide, this company has put a shroud around this bulb. Now, it's not sealed at either end, however, it is to prevent any sort of glass explosion in the case of an extreme failure, um, which I think is kind of a nice touch because, like I said, the metal halides do have a positive pressure, um, and if they do critically fail, they pretty much explode. Um, so it's kind of nice to see companies moving and doing this. Um, makes it kind of heavy and a little awkward, and I'm assuming some shields and some lighting systems might have a difficulty adapting this depending on the socket assembly, but um, I've run these bulbs for a while and they are really nice bulbs. Oh, 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 oh,